back people welcome to my channel my name is Jason Morrison now today guys I'm doing the GH5 photography video part two uh, the last one I did was with Rudy like a year and a half ago you know what I mean you guys saw that video I'll link it down in the description and I'll put the card up there for you guys I'm doing it a little differently so I originally went out and I was gonna try to film it the same way I did last time but instead I figured I would just take the photos you know bring you guys back into Lightroom with me and then we uh, I kind of just explain like my concept and my vision for the photos. We go from there. Let me know if you guys prefer the way I did before or the way I'm gonna do it right now. Uh, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to you know take the lie with 7.5 millimeter out, see what we could get. Um, last time it was with my kit lens, the 14 to 45. But uh, yeah, without further ado, man, you know we're just chilling and uh, let's go out and get some photos, and then we're gonna hop right into Lightroom. So we're gonna hop right into Lightroom. I'm not gonna go into specific details regarding my editing settings per se, just cause that's not really something that I do, but I just wanna show you guys and just talk about the look that I was going for. You guys can kinda briefly see over here what I did to it. And if you guys really want me to go into detail, I can either put on a document or I'll put it down in the, in the description to show my settings for each photo or whatever it is. If you guys really want that, just put down the comments and uh, I'll find a way to share, share the information regarding what I did to these photos. But I'm no photographer, so I don't think it's gonna be that deep. Hopping into this first one though, uh, which was one of the original shots that I got. So I framed it in a pretty cool way, this building when we were out by the uh, the train tracks. We had the, the building with the graffiti on the side, and I have two photos with this that I show off, but this particular one is uh, my favorite. I was going for like a really uh, like grungy LA sort of like West Coast vibe with this one. It's really warm. I use warm tones moving on to the next one Same thing I tried to frame it up. So the the power lines were kind of like on the rule of thirds We had the graffiti kind of in the middle of like where the rule of thirds would be kind of like the center point You see a lot of the sky. I used really warm colors again Like I tried to ha go for that LA that West Coast like really warm vibe uh, to kind of make you feel like you're in the hood or something like that or like make you feel like you're a, kind of like in a gang territory You know what I'm saying on the on, on the west coast So I use those warmer tones again with like kind of the lighter color for the sky being contrasted by like the dark Colors of the graffiti with the middle here and just like the power lines and everything like that I thought it was framed up pretty well not one of my favorite photos out of like the batch that I took But I, I definitely think it, it has its place in uh, my final shots to show you guys in this video these are some of the last shots I took by the area with the graffiti. You guys can also recognize this from, you know, scene that I did in The Reason Why Your Life Never Changes, but I used my car to kind of act as leading lines to the sunset that was going on with the train track. So look, you can see my spoiler right here. It's kind of like a leading line that leads you right to the sunset. The trees also kind of act as leading lines in, in the composition of the photo that leads you to the sunset and same thing with the wall right here the graffiti actually reflects really nicely off the light from the sunset and everything like it just leads you right down the tracks right to the sunset and it's pretty much the same thing for these next few photos but i just thought that this was really well composed in my opinion and uh, one thing with photography is you can really sit there and really just hone in on the composition i think that makes a lot of the photos obviously editing and coloring plays a factor but composition is just so huge and photography really can help you sell that feeling so moving over same thing kind of same vibe the reflection off my car kind of acts as like almost like a mirror in a way right so it's like diagonal down the photo and it's almost like this half like this half of the photo is like the trees and this half is like the sky that's kind of what i thought in my head same thing this one i edited a little more and you guys are going to see this color scheme later with uh what i did with the trees i took i made like the reds really prominent the sky i kind of toned it down from blue to like more of a white more of a gray and i i just want to see what it would look like like i said i originally used these color schemes and you guys are going to see at the train station photos but i want to see what this would look like with the sunset and it actually turned out pretty cool Maybe I could have turned this down a little bit because it looks like it's kind of losing some information, but the trees diagonally in this photo, they reflect perfectly and it kind of adds that composition there or like that symmetry in the photo that makes it kind of pop out really nice. So I thought that's pretty dope. And I'll just quickly go through the rest because it's really the same thing using my car with the leading lines to 
direct you all the way to that sunset same thing i added some grain to because one i cropped this photo and then i added some grain to give it like more of like a poster feeling because i just thought that looked a lot nicer and then like i said you guys can also take a look at just some of the settings on the side if you want to pay attention but if you guys really want it i'll put it down in the comments or in the description of the video if that's what you actually want uh, but moving on same thing with this one same premise no need to explain it this was actually one of my favorite photos I took. Like I said, all these are with the Lyowa 7.5 millimeter lens. I definitely like the way these came out way better than the 14 to 45 when I was using that uh, last year when I did that GH5 photography video with Rudy. I just feel like these came out crispier. They have a better like depth of field because you know the Lyowa goes down to an, I think, f 2.8 or something like that but man it just has like a really dope look it naturally has a vignette on the lens because it's just super wide so it just adds so much depth so much uh contrast and with this one i really liked it just because the way i framed it up like you have the blue sky you have the yellow buses and then you have the concrete on the ground and it's like you use kind of like the buses to separate the sky from the concrete and then in the center of the photo you kind of have the parking spot kind of direct you to the bus on the other side so i don't know i, th I thought that was a, like a pretty cool composed shot and you also just have the plane or whatever in the background that like just adds another touch to the photo that looks really nice so this one was nothing crazy but the vignette and just the color contrast in this photo i thought was really dope uh, and this one is a shot of a diner. I had two shots of this one. One where I toned down the sky to, and everything to be more black and white. So it contrasts really heavily with the red. Um, and especially with the yellow with the buses and everything like that. Like a lot of big color contrast between there and there. It's like boom. It kind of hits. I like it better than this one. This one I kind of kept some of the blue in the sky and some of the detail. But the buses are kind of washed out. It doesn't look that natural and like the grass and everything's kind of like off personally for me this is probably one of the worst photos i took but this one where the buses are still kind of yellow and you have like the black and the white the contrast with the sky i thought that worked out a lot better you guys can kind of see the color curve i used over here i'm not even gonna lie to you guys i just kind of go with what looks good to me like i'm not somebody who really understands color curves to a crazy extent just yet but we can we can definitely go into more detail about that in the future this is where I'm kind of getting into some of my favorite shots when I was out there just filming and gathering content. So the train station shots, I used a nice color scheme throughout a lot of them with reds and greens, subtly more yellows, the sky instead of like a dark blue or like a blue, it's more of like a light blue or like a white, the contrast kind of with the darkness and everything like that, as you guys can see, man, just like bringing out the reds and everything like that. I just think it's really dope. We kind of focus on the bus schedule or whatever right here. And it just, the, the bokeh of the train and the skyline, in the background with the leading lines, just kind of directing your attention there, I think is really dope, which is a common theme that I have throughout a lot of these photos that I took was just using composition and color contrast to kind of tell the story. Same thing with here. Like these were all taken in a row. So you guys can see like, boom, boom, boom. I'm not going to get into detail because it's really the same shot i added film grain on this one to like i said give it a more grungy feel give it that poster feeling again it just kind of i don't know i i, I like the way the grain can kind of just help a photo look more vintage i guess so i added some of that to this one and i thought it looked pretty dope same thing with this one but this one i added more yellows and more greens the reflection on the train itself looks just so nice like the lights reflecting off there it kind of catches your attention the leading lines also directing your attention down here to where the red lights are reflecting off the train and then just just really nice composition in my opinion with the architecture just kind of bringing out the photo this is one of my favorite photos that i took because look what, what you have is i i purposely made this like a two to three color scheme i wanted it to be really dark since i was already going for like turning a lot of these reds popping out like in the highlights you have the train over here obviously that's going to catch your attention with the leading lines but also i purposely framed it up so this bench in this waiting area is in the middle of the frame you have the highlights from the sign bouncing off the bench on this side so it's like all these are catching your attention with the color contrast right there but on this side it's a lot more dark you have some lights in the background but this side the bench too with the hat and everything like that it just looks it's like almost like a dark night gotham vibe and like the composition with the bright side and the dark side i thought was really dope and that's just kind of what my vision was for this one added film grain again to give it more a vintage 
kind of like poster grungy feeling yeah yeah i thought that was really cool i like the color scheme the sky is a lot more grayed out i think it was like actually let's take a look at what it looked like originally so look at that like that's a pretty huge difference it was you know dark blue in the sky you got like a more orangey look there but yeah i i i prefer my edit way better than the original moving on kind of same thing sky was more of like a tealish green this one was kind of out of focus so i, I kept it in there just because i like the way that the color contrast separated this from the the sky in the background same thing here once again used kind of like that tealish sky look it kind of got brighter down there a lot of the street lights kind of help to bring attention over here the leading lines direct you over to the sign just the reflections in the purple and just like the red color scheme you mostly with all these photos i used color contrast to kind of catch the attention of uh whoever's looking the photos boom same thing here nothing like too special sky was brought down not as blue um a lot of these are more muted blues to like grays uh with the bokeh of the lights in the background i thought was really dope catches your attention as you guys can see just you know leading lines leading your direction leading the direction of your attention down here same story with this one except uh the leading lines kind of direct your attention to this and i also used a similar color scheme apart from i started off using yellow <laughs> contrasting with the blue and i forget what those lie on the color wheel but i know for a fact that they contrast each other and like this contrasts really well <laughs> oh geez i have hiccups <laughs> it separates your attention from the background then you got the you know the highlights for the street lights and everything like that uh purple also contrasting heavily with the yellow so i thought that was pretty cool same same story here with the reds and everything like that this is definitely one of my favorite ones just the way i framed it up you got the sign you got the train you know all these are directing your attention forward but the color contrast from with the sky especially with its teal muted look from the original as you guys can see i mean this it, it separates kind of heavily here too but i prefer the way i did it with the color contrast there with the reds and everything like that same thing when we go back to yellows except i made the sky a lot more gray a lot more muted i don't know what the look i was going for i honestly can't remember but i just like the way that the yellows really popped out same thing here a lot of the reflect i mean the conductor like i tried to brighten this up so he was not blending into the background it kind of brightened him up a little bit the reflections off the train obviously help you have the sign here and everything like that same same concept you have the muted sky you know blues are toned down shadows are kind of brought up in certain areas like over here and yeah just color contrast to kind of tell the story there this is one of my favorite ones actually one of the first ones i was playing out with the yellows it really contrasts with the sky just the yellow greenish black like dark vibe with this one and like obviously the train tracks in this leads your eyes once again forward a lot of this is what i used just really easy composition honestly like you you have the train tracks you have lines leading you down very easy to to use that composition to tell the story in the photos but this one's just really clean it's just a lot of leading lines a lot of composition a lot of color contrast this is one of my favorite ones is same place i was up on that bridge you know you had the leading lines of the the train tracks leading you to the sunset on the, on the horizon I purposely made the sky a different color. Like you have the orange and the blue that contrasts heavily with each other. So you guys can kind of see where it goes from like this part of the sky down to the horizon. You have like uh, the, the silhouette of like everything in the background. You have the city in the background. And then obviously you have the fencing, I guess, of the bridge that helps also frame it up really well. You have like sunset, the train tracks and the horizon in this middle box across everything is where the skyline is i thought it framed up pretty well i tried to have the train tracks align with this but it didn't work out but either way i think i thought this one was framed up pretty well and i thought that it kind of told a story on its own with the the sunset there and the train tracks and everything like that like you're going fading off into the the sunset or whatever it is i don't know that's what i was thinking about i thought it, the composition kind of told the story of this photo all on its own but yeah that's really about it i think from all of these my favorite photo is probably yeah probably this one either this one or this one right here so put down in the comments of this video if you guys thought that this gh5 photography video turned out well i thought i think these are more interesting photos than the one we did last year on the 14 to 45 like the kit lens that i had the lie was 7.5 millimeter just you know super wide obviously uh, it stops down to a pretty low f-stop, so some of the photos had like a lot more depth of field, a lot more bokeh. I thought they turned out a lot more interesting. I thought I edited these photos a lot better than the last one, so put in the comments if you guys enjoyed this. I might make a third video if you guys do. If you guys want me to actually put the settings for some of the photos 
then i'll put it down in the description but yeah uh, i think i want to kind of go from here the gh5 with the live with 7.5 millimeter definitely great results got a lot more videos coming soon guys a lot more storytelling like i said that's what i want to do my channel is really just about my journey becoming a filmmaker and videographer like the video if you did enjoy it hit subscribe if you guys are into filmmaking videography or lifestyle content my name is jason morrison guys i'll see you guys in the next video deuces Try to take what's mine and leave Find him and talk about